time to time, everyone forgets their password. With the Faith in Life system, there's no reason to panic. We've given you a simple way to reset your password and unlock your account so that you won't lose any valuable work time. If you type in your username or your password incorrectly, you could get a message down here that says incorrect, or if you've done it too many times, you may get this box here. This looks a little scary, but it's really not. So click OK, and we're going to come down here where it says Reset Password slash Unlock Account. You're going to click that, and then you're going to type in the same email or same username that you have on the left that you're going to log in with and click Submit. It looks like an email address, but it's not. It's connected to your parent, e parent or secondary email address. So they're going to get the email. And they're going to get a few emails. One's going to say that your account has been locked. And then the next one is going to give you a link so that you can reset your password yourself. So you're going to copy that information starting with the HTTPS. Open up a new tab. And then you're going to get a create new password screen. So you're going to choose a new password uh, following these instructions. That has It has to have two letters, one number, be at least seven characters long but not more than 20, have one special character, and of course these two boxes have to match. So I'm going to choose something simple like train123, but please don't use that. Please find your own, uh, your own unique password. Now, once I have that in there, notice all of the instructions are disappearing. That means I'm doing it correctly. Train, one, two, three, exclamation point. That last message disappeared, so that means my two, two passwords match. So I'm going to click Submit. And it tells me that I've successfully changed my password. I can come back to the login screen. Train, one, two, three, exclamation point. And now I can log into the system and continue my work.